you know, it's still a very busy time in the garden, but I can assure you, you're not the only one that's enjoying it. I guarantee there's a tribe of critters in here having a field day. Oh, now, who's responsible for this damage? Ah, you, Caterpillar. Yes, you I'm talking to. Because it's almost impossible to be free from villains like aphids, mealybugs and scale. Here's what I do in my garden to beat the bugs. And I'm going to need some reinforcements. Controlling nasty pests in your garden, you've got to go firstly to the right aisle. And yes, there are chemicals that are very targeted. Take this little fella here, caterpillars. It's a bacillus, so it just upsets the caterpillar, kills it and doesn't harm anything else. And it's got that special logo on the front, the one to look for. That's the one we want. But I've got another battle plan that needs a special order. I'm looking for the beneficial insects that control the baddies. Backyard buddies. Backyard buddies, that's what I'm after. Certainly. Every insect has a natural enemy insect. Take those nasty aphids. One of their natural enemies are ladybirds. And ladybirds will eat 100 aphids in a day. Now, that's a handy predator to have in your garden. And believe it or not, they're easy to get. And there's a heap of them. The beneficial ones, the goodies, get posted to your home. While I wait for the postie, let's deal with the caterpillars. When you're spraying, make sure you get on both sides of the leaf, the upper and lower surface and you'll need to respray about every seven days. Now, while Mother Nature does make her own traps, it doesn't hurt to give her a hand occasionally, especially with some of the insects that you might have to deal with. To make a sticky trap, smear petroleum jelly over a plastic cup, yellow because the insects are attracted to the colour, and then pop it on a stick. And within no time, they're covered with dead insects. <laughs> ah, that'll be the postie. Hey! Fantastic. Good, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Let's release these in the garden. Inside the box, a heap of little jars with ventilation on the top. That keeps them happy. Now, if you've got scale, say, on your lily pillies, this is the guy you need to invite to lunch. This is Luke, and he's the lady beetle that you can release into your trees, and it'll take care of your scale. No sprays. Gracie is a lacewing. And she'll control aphids too, and mealybugs. This is Linda, the ladybird, with her little babies. She also has an appetite for mealybugs. Away you go, chomp away. My last predator is Walter, a stingless wasp. This is him in egg form. So if you've got a fly problem, just release these little fellas. They'll hatch out and take care of them. You know, if you keep your garden good and healthy, you never know who's likely to pop by. And you couldn't get a prettier house guest than one of these. Yes, butterflies are a joy to watch in any garden. <laughs>